Search continues for seven Camp Pendleton Marines and a sailor still missing after a tragic accident off the coast of San Clemente Island that has claimed one life. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee in tonight for Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. 16 service members inside an amphibious assault vehicle were wrapping up a routine exercise yesterday when their vehicle sank. Eight were rescued. News 8's Richard Allen has more on the efforts to save them. Well, that's right. One of those three Marines brought here to Scripps Memorial was pronounced dead. The two others remain in the ICU in critical but stable condition. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families affected uh, by these Marines that have been in the mishap. That mishap took place yesterday shortly before 6 p.m. following a routine exercise as 15 Camp Pendleton Marines and one Navy sailor were inside an amphibious assault vehicle or AAV about a thousand feet off the coast of San Clemente Island. So they were actually on their way from the island back out to the ship. The 26-ton AAV, for unknown reasons, suddenly began taking on water and plunged some 700 feet. The assumption is it went all the way to the bottom. Eight of those 16 inside the AAV, all of whom were part of the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit, were rescued. With the rescue operations, some of those Marines were picked up because they were floating. Three of the Marines were brought to Scripps Memorial, one of whom died. The five other Marines are doing well and have returned to their units. We are continuing search and rescue operations at this point. Those operations, assisted by the Navy and Coast Guard, are searching for those seven Marines and one Navy sailor who remain missing. In 2017, an AAV struck a gas line and caught on fire on Camp Pendleton, sending 14 Marines and a sailor to the hospital with serious burns. And six years before that, another Marine died on Camp Pendleton when an AAV sank 300 feet offshore. It's extremely claustrophobic um, and, and just unpleasant. Former Marine Nate Ekman recalls the cramped quarters inside an AAV. I remember saying we would have rather hiked uh, the distances we've had to than to be carried by an AAV. And until this investigation is completed, all water use of amphibious assault vehicles will be suspended.